Beware. Driving in 2023. It's dangerous. I'm Jack Willard. Just coming on in a very short video to discuss the obvious. Things have changed on the road. Things have changed all over the world, all over America. Everything is going faster now. Destruction is coming faster. Everybody's driving faster. Our world, our country is changing rapidly. I did a drive today with my partner. Oh, about 18 miles on Route 84. I have a video up here that talks about... Uh, the experience of driving to Florida using I-95 for much of the trip. You can find that video here. It's worth watching. But this was just a short jaunt up 84. And I'm not in a hurry. It's about 2 o'clock or so in the afternoon. And I get on there and I'm going 65 miles an hour. Well, I'm here to tell you that nobody going on Route 84 East at that time was going the speed limit. I was passed by every single vehicle. Every single vehicle. And... That was a new experience because you always find some people that are going to obey the speed limit, right? Not anymore. Not anymore. They all are in a hurry to get somewhere. The X, Y, Zers are on the road in force. They don't care too much about traffic signals. They literally see the road as their own personal speedway. No courtesy for the other drivers. They will come up behind you and zigzag into the left lane and then to the right lane and cut in front of the car that's a little bit ahead of you with no directional, no nothing. And they know, they know that their chances of getting caught are minuscule at best. I don't know if you notice this where you are, but I've never noticed such a lack, a total lack of police presence on the roads. I noticed that when I drove by myself to Florida. There were only a few states where there was much effort at all, and that was usually in the daytime. Police officers, state troopers, all around the country are realizing that they're in more danger than they've ever been. And very often, they have some uh, irresponsible district attorney, mayor, governor that is not on their side. And they're using, in many cases, 1950s methods to stop speeders. How many are you going to stop like that? If everybody's speeding, how many are you going to stop? And as I say in the I-95 video, we have the technology to put it right in the car where uh, we could uh, get a hold of this. Yes, there's speed camera cameras in some state and what have you. People know where those speed cameras are. But uh, when you go on a trip, whether you're just going 20, 30 miles to your favorite uh, out-of-the-way restaurant or uh, to uh, an amusement park or to a mall that you really like that's uh, better than what you have in your particular neighborhood, you're taking your life into your hands. You're taking your life into your hands. Um, 
if they do pull someone over, I saw one professional gentleman. He was uh, towing a black gated truck. This is a guy just trying to make a living. And he was the guy that got pulled over. They pull over safe targets. They don't want to pull over a band of young thugs, perhaps. Potential young thugs. They're not really looking to do that. They want to go home at the end of their shift. I can kind of understand that. And the respect level for police these days um, is uh, the lowest I've ever seen. I've been driving since 1972. Here in the small city that I live in, I live on a fairly busy uh, street. People use this street to cut up to any number of other places that can be as far as 20, 30 miles away. And so even after midnight, there is quite a bit of activity. In the summer, you've got the motorcyclist. No cop is going to stop them. They're not going to chase them. It can end in disaster. They probably won't catch the guy on the motorcycle. Uh, And he can slam into other people, end up killing himself, just one big mess. So they look the other way. But they're looking the other way all the time now. So the enjoyable driving experience where you're going somewhere in the realm of the speed limit and enjoying your uh, journey uh, is, is certainly diminished. You literally have to keep an eye on your rear view mirror. When you see someone coming up fast, you have to uh, think about what you would do maybe to get out of their way if necessary. When I got off the exit on our way home, there was like 15 cars uh, waiting. Uh, there's no light. You just have to wait for the traffic that uh, is uh, coming from um, both directions. You have to wait for, uh, for it to be clear. So it backs up somewhat. So here comes the, uh, the young person that just gets on the shoulder and passes all 15 cars and pushes his way in the front. You see this when you're on the major highways. They will pass you on the shoulder and then zigzag all the way over to the left lane. They think they're really skilled at what they do, and they can uh, perform just like a professional race car driver. And again, they don't think they're going to get caught. They figured it out, and it makes uh, horrible accidents happen all the time. Families get killed. Older people get killed. They slam into 18-wheelers. They think they can uh, play uh, uh, a game with 18-wheelers. And what do I see here in the city where I live in? I see, uh, oh, in the summertime, there must be four or five police barbecues. Just last week, they had another one where it's announced that at such and such a park, they will uh, be serving up hamburgers and hot dogs and chips and soda for the community. Come and uh, spend some time with the police. They're your buddy. They're employing some kind of ridiculous psychology that if you uh, uh, buddy up to them and... uh, show you're just an average normal person too, you're not out to get them, then they will have an epiphany and they will say, okay, all right, well, I'll behave better on the roads. I won't do this. I won't do that. I won't break the law so much. No, no, it doesn't mean that at all. It just means the um, poor people in the community and the people that know where all the free stuff is, they'll show up for their hamburgers and hot dogs and what have you. Um, But it doesn't change much. Now, every once in a while, they will do a drug raid, though, you know. They'll do this usually in the early morning and what have you. They will still do that. 
you'll hear about it. We don't have a, a paper that's worth buying anymore. It's more like a flyer in 2023. Everything's online. But all the great reporters that used to cover any community, most of them are gone now. It may be one or two reporters assigned to the area. Your uh, local newspaper, for example, was bought by well, in our case, USA Today, and they don't care about uh, this city at all. There's um, no news reporters on the radio for the most part anymore in the local communities. Everything has changed. So we're having barbecues for the XYZers, hoping that we can uh, tame their behavior and uh, uh, make them feel that we are uh, uh, not out to get them. And they, they get that part of the message. They understand that you are somewhat intimidated by them now. And people become cops that are not going to be able to handle um, a uh, six foot four guy who uh, is determined to get away from you, determined not to get arrested again. Maybe he uh, will do some serious time if he gets arrested this time. So he's got to get away from you. We see uh, people that do not look accomplished, young people, very young people, driving top-of-the-line Mercedes-Benz, Porsches, Audis, Lincolns, and um, other luxury cars. Cars that cost, in in some cases, well over (laughs) $100,000. They just don't look like they have made it. Uh, that they could afford that uh, car. So how are they affording that car? Everybody seems to know. Um, So what we do here on the uh, fire scanner that we have here often is another MVA on this street and that street and what have you. And, of course, we hear of horrible crashes Uh, on the Bear Mountain Parkway, on Route 84, and other major routes here. We just uh, have a a bevy of needless accidents brought on by speed demons that just don't give a damn. And right now, we don't have any kind of uh, impressive battle plan to stop this. As I say, when you drive a thousand miles, you see a major difference. You see it. You see it. And it's just crazy to think that you can have a few cars out there and they can deal with what is now a a universal problem. A universal problem. It's all part of the time we live in, the last days. Everything is changing. In Washington, we have what some would call, many would call on the right side, the Biden crime family. family. That's what people like uh, Sean Hannity, uh, Bud, Buck and Clay, and uh, Mark Levin, and many others would call them and we see uh as the millennials and the xys assume power we see that they are not for the constitution they're not for equal justice they are happy with shredding the constitution and uh it's a revolution It's an absolute revolution that's taking place. And all this happens to have been predicted in the Bible. So it's a time where we have to be on guard, prayed up, and uh, realize that the more innocent times that were just a few years past, really, have now radically changed, especially since 2020. COVID coming in helped accelerate this perfect storm of losing your free speech, losing your rights. Now, thank God for YouTube and other sources where it's still going on. 
but things aren't looking good. Things aren't looking good. Uh, wise leaders of the past that knew that they were not to be dictators, but to be fair uh, exercisers, exercisers of, uh, of uh, law and order, the, the truth, fairness, they're retiring. They're going away. And when you think about a generation uh, like Generation Z running the country, I don't see how you would have a country. There are wonderful exceptions to all that. There are wonderful, solid people in their 20s and 30s and 40s um, that are uh, that are shining a light and willing to fight for America. But it is a very fierce fight with potentially World War III looming and all kinds of of uh, debauchery and evil surrounding us. So this is just a heads up. We're living in a very different time, and we have to be on guard. My personal email is jackthefairguy, F-A-I-R, jackthefairguy, at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Watch all our videos here. We talk on many subjects, and please subscribe and like if you do.